The whole thing's intriguing as they play their first ever season of varsity football. But one of their players, receiver, getting a lot of attention, as well he should, went to high school in Pflugerville, played at Texas Tech University. Just a breaking news here for you guys? Coach, if yeah. you're looking at ESPN right now, I'm sorry to interrupt, but uh, Brett Favre is apparently getting off the SUV there, getting ready to take his physical. So uh, we just wanted to break in real quick and let everybody know that it's 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 moving. So by it's, it's later on myth. today, it's yeah, later on today, we should have a signing. You know what? Would this be the most fitting end to this story? <laughs> How about after all this, he comes back, you know, they examine his shoulder. And he passes that, and then they flunk him because he's got a double hernia. Exactly. Cough, Brett. <laughs> Nobody knew anything about that. It squirrels the whole deal. Uh, but it's amazing. They got copters. Everybody's surrounding this area. So there it is. There Rick it is. Harv, yanking our string again, and there's Coach A dancing at the end of the <laughs> string yet again. And all you people who want to say, I told you so, Coach, you're entitled to it. You told me so, and I was naive and gullible. But we were talking UIW football. Well, the whole thing is cool. They got a receiver, played high school football at Pflugerville, went to Texas Tech. This is a big, strong, fast receiver. Did I say fast? He's been clocked at 4-3, and you know me. Sometimes I'm a little skeptical about these things. You know, sometimes these 40 times get inflated, but I check this out all over the place, and this guy is a true dragster. And then to finish off the story, when he gets done playing football, which – might not necessarily be anytime soon if you catch my drift, but he plans to be a doctor. He's going to medical school. Todd Walker, you're just way too classy to be on this show. How did this happen? <laughs> uh, I guess it's from my parents' upbringing. I guess uh, <laughs> good, I'll go ahead. And give, I'll give them some credit where it's due. Good parentage, good manners, <laughs> absolutely. You know, young man, you're in especially fine spirits for somebody who's been working as hard as you have. Yeah, definitely. Uh, it's been. Uh, it's been a fun camp so far, and it's been great, and uh, it's a great uh, fit for me right now. So I'm excited. I'm ready for the season to start. Well, trace this journey for us, if you will, starting in Pflugerville, going to Texas Tech, and now playing football for the UIW Cardinals. Yeah, definitely. Uh, coming out of Pflugerville, I was, I was blessed enough to have a, a, some opportunities to attend some different universities, and um, I chose Texas Tech. And uh, my brother was at Purdue University playing ball there, and uh, he ended up transferring to Texas Tech. and. They put him on scholarship, and we were there for three years together. Uh, got to play a little bit my freshman year behind Jarrett Hicks, and then um, went through the tough patches, you know, as a freshman. And then my sophomore year, uh, luckily enough, I uh, had a good, you know, two a days, good spring, and I got to start majority of that year and switch out some reps with another receiver, L.A. Reed, and uh, had a real good sophomore year. And we went to the inside bowl and had the greatest bowl comeback in bowl history. Mm-hmm. And then uh, a little bit of a downturn and um, ended up with a diagnosis with, like y'all just said, with Brett Favre, a, a double, I had two hernias <laughs> right after, after my sophomore season. Todd, so, here's the deal. Would you believe this? I had no idea that was the case. I was just completely pulling that out of my head with respect to Brett Favre. <laughs> I had no idea that that was in your particular medical history. <laughs> I was about to crack up on the radio for a second. I was like, oh, man. But, yeah, I definitely uh, had the two surgeries, and I missed my junior year. And what ended up happening is I uh, came back this uh, this last year uh, when we had our good season, and majority of the year I either uh, was switching out with uh, Lyle Leong at the exposition, and then halfway through the year is when uh, Crabtree started having a few injuries, and so they put me behind Crabtree with somebody with some experience and uh I mean, I was uh, pretty much his backup, but um, I guess that's not a bad thing. <laughs> well, that's not a bad thing at all. I mean, my goodness, I think there are any number of receivers, uh, you know, who would be in that position on that depth chart. But ultimately then, how do you make the move to UIW, and how did you initially even find out that there was going to be football here? Definitely, definitely. Yeah. Well, I was actually, this entire summer, I was living on the beach in California with my two brothers, and um, and. uh well, Coach from Tech, uh, Coach Cesar Martinez, got the head strength job down here at UIW. He uh, called me up, and we've been we've been we've always been good friends at Tech. And he called me up, told me to just come take a look at it, and uh, came down and take a look during the summer, and immediately just fell in love with the coaching staff and the friggin' great facilities and great education and great location. And uh, I couldn't pass up the opportunity; it was too good. Well, you are a true student athlete, so when you make reference to academics. You know, you're not winking at the world. You mean it. When, oh, yeah. did, you, when, when did you develop this aspiration to be a physician? Uh, when I was 10 years old, I had open-heart surgery. And um, 
I remember uh, the only thing I wanted to do was play football. Both my brothers played football, and they were the high school quarterbacks. And at this point in time, I had, a, I had a hole in my heart and a leaky valve, and I wasn't allowed to participate in any type of, like, you know, pop horn or any type of athletic activity. And I finally had the surgery at age 10, and they weren't going to let me play football. And four years later, um, I finally got to play my first game, and the rest is kind of history. I got to play in the Army Bowl and got a scholarship to Texas Tech, and now I'm at UIW. And uh, I guess from uh, the very beginning on, it's uh, the way my life was affected by, you know, the physicians and then my hernia surgery. It's kind of like um, what, what way to pay back to society with the, the way that physicians help me, you know? Todd, that is an intensely personal story, and you more than most players – really had to prove just how badly you wanted to play the game. You know, there were a lot of mediocre players, myself included, who at least I, I took the opportunity for granted. At least I'm going to get a chance to play. I think if I had ever been in a position where I was uncertain about whether or not I would be allowed to play football, that would have been a very difficult thing to handle. Yeah, I think it definitely it kind of, you know, it, it lets you know if you really love the sport and, uh, you know, if you really want to play. It, I was definitely blessed, and thank God um, – I was able to play, and I've been trying to do it to the best of my ability. And um, there's ups and downs in everybody's career, and I feel like I've had definitely had the ups and downs going from starting to uh, missing an entire year. And uh, that's definitely one thing I'm trying to portray to these young guys here at UIW is, you know, camp's a tough time, and this is their first college camp, and, man, there's ups and downs, and try to teach them, you know, you just got to roll with the punches. Well, you end up kind of automatically, almost by default, being a leader on this team, don't you? Yeah, definitely. I think I, I'm the only senior. <laughs> that, coach, that, I mean, coach, you ought to write a book not, about that. Yeah, coach. Coach said he's not gonna not gonna give me a senior day this year. <laughs> <laughs> we need to find out if we can get you some additional years of, of eligibility. You know, I'm not I'm not suggesting another double hernia or anything like that. Don't get me wrong. <laughs> no, I hope not. <laughs> you know, uh, I, I gotta ask you this question because we got so many Texas Tech fans in our listening audience, and I follow Texas Tech football very closely. I really enjoy it. But there's got to be, I'm guessing, a pretty big contrast between Mike Leach and Mike Santiago. <laughs> yeah, I think there, there definitely is. It's uh, completely two different personalities. And um, uh, I really uh, I learned a lot from Coach Leach, and I'm definitely learning every day from Coach Santiago. Uh, one thing about Coach Santiago is he's a real, real good players coach, and and he definitely makes you feel welcome, and um, he's really on the field coaching at all points, every position, and he's definitely very respectable, and he's uh, had some ups and downs with his family and careers and everything like that, just like everybody else has, and he can really relate to you, and I really, I think that's what really attracted me to Coach Santiago. Okay, ready or not, you're going to play football in 11 days. Is the team going to be ready? Oh, yeah, yeah, we'll be ready. We'll be ready. We're practicing every day. We got two days every other day, and uh, we're trying to fit in as much as possible with uh, the amount of practices before our first game. But we'll go out there and we'll uh, we'll give us give it our best, and hopefully come out with a W. Todd, we can't tell you how excited we are about this. Of course, we are the official radio station of UIW Cardinal football. That first game coming up a week from Saturday at Tom Benson Stadium against Monterey Tech. Todd Walker, a truly compelling story, a unique story on this football team. You heard the really circuitous path that he's taken to college football at UIW. Todd, it's an absolute pleasure. I'm looking forward to meeting you. And uh, this thing is on us, like I said, ready or not. Yes, sir. Thank you very much for having me. Absolutely. UIW receiver Todd Walker. Is that any good or what? Now he wants to be a doctor because he wants to give back. Because he thinks about what happened to him as a child when he didn't think that he was going to be a normal kid athletically, didn't think he was going to have a chance to play football. He saw what doctors did for him and for his life, and now he wants to do it for others. You know, these seeds of greatness get sown at very young ages, like with what's, for example, going on with the McAllister Park Little League team. Speaking of compelling local stories...